I think also um, study, leaving the country and studying abroad should be enforced by a lot of these professors. I, st I, was, I studied abroad my junior year. I only went to Europe, but it opened me up to a different reality. And that, that never left me. It was a travel bug that stayed in me. And I swear that's why I do what I do, because I left the country and I was able to uh, experience other cultures and other ways of working um, um, outside of the United States. So I think it's very important to encourage students to travel abroad. I think it's very uh, important to encourage students to understand the situations that are going on and really study them. Don't just hear uh, firsthand through, through news or TV. Study them on your own. Find out what's going on. Do a lot of volunteer work overseas, but definitely try to get out of the U.S. and learn more about what's going on out there. Because I think a big problem that we're in, especially in our political system, is that we're so compartmentalized. And we really are not concerned with the realities of what's going on overseas. Uh, so I think really getting a more international view is extremely critical, especially for students that are going to be out there in the workforce and making a lot of, a lot of uh, um, decisions. Talking to families and friends and your church, if you're a member, if you're very active in your church, talking about the realities of what's going on, educating people, because I find out, no matter who the audience is, when I talk about these things, they're shocked. So I think educating the people on the realities of, of, you know, of, of what's going on in Central America. These are Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador are one, three, and five, respectively, in terms of murder rates of the world. And these include countries that are at war. So I think sharing that is extremely important. Uh, so making it, making it known within your community. But then again, going to your local representative, I think, is key. And so that's, an, that's another way to do it. And the more voices you have, the stronger you are to your local representative. In terms of advocating, I, I would again say traveling overseas and sharing what, what, uh, what you know about what's happening and really learning. And so educating yourself as well. Um, so sharing what you know, but really getting down and dirty with the, with the subject and uh, tr really try to understand what's going on. So I would say a volunteer program, joining Peace Corps, doing something that you can really open up your, your, your avenues and understanding these issues. And I think now more than ever, it's a critical time to be involved because of our polarized government, because of the issues coming on, uh, because of the social networking. We're finding out firsthand information of what's going on. So I think you guys are key to moving these pieces forward and you're a key part of the puzzle. So I would like to thank you, the students, uh, for, for taking on this very important issue and for taking time out of your schoolwork, out of your classroom, uh, to talk about this because you are the future and this issue will not move anywhere outside of the countries in Central America or Mexico unless we have your buy-in and support. And you are all on the right path and I sincerely thank you all for, for supporting us in this endeavor.